What's going on everyone? This is the Mac Roberts back again with another NBA 2K21 My Player Builder video. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the best Glenn Rice build. Now Glenn Rice has become sort of a forgotten star of the 90s. The sharpshooter was the Miami Heat's first real star, paired alongside Ronnie Sakely during those early pre-Pat Riley years. And he won the three-point contest in 1995 before being traded to the Hornets for Alonzo Mourning the next season. And that move helped the Heat reach the Eastern Conference's upper echelon alongside the acquisition of Tim Hardaway. Meanwhile in Charlotte, Rice was given the green light to score and score he did, instantly becoming an all-star and remaining such in all three years he played in Charlotte. He was also named the All-Star MVP in 1997 with a memorable 20 point third quarter that is still the record for most points in a quarter in an All-Star game. In the 1998-99 season, he was traded to the Lakers for Eddie Jones and he was now a third option behind Shaq and an emerging Kobe. Rice's numbers obviously dropped, but he was still an integral part of the Lakers 2000 championship. However, because he was traded for Eddie Jones, who was a fan favorite in LA, the Lakers fans never truly accepted him, and he was traded to the Knicks where injuries decayed his effectiveness, and after stops in Houston and the Clippers, he was out of the league four years after winning it all. So, without further ado, let's get into the build. Position is going to be small forward, hand in this doesn't matter, jersey number also doesn't matter, I just chose 41, because that's the number he wore for his entire career. For the pie chart, we're going to go with the more green than blue pie chart. And for the physical profile, we're going to go with the balanced physical profile. Now for your attributes, you're going to bring your close shot up to a 93. You're driving the layup up to a 75. You're driving dunk up to a 75. You're standing dunk up to a 65. And your post look up to a 53. And that's going to give you 12 finishing badges. For shooting, you're going to max out your mid-range shot, max out your three-point shot, bring your free throw up to the max, 91, and bring your post fade up to a 67. And that's going to give you 20 shooting badges. For playmaking, you're going to bring your pass accuracy up to a 59, your ball handling up to a 72, and your post moves up to a 74. And that's going to give you 11 playmaking badges. Lastly, for defense and rebounding, you're going to bring your perimeter defense up to a 73, your lateral quickness up to the max, 70, and you're going to max out your steal to 72. You're going to bring your offensive rebounding up to a 31, and you're going to bring your defensive rebounding up to a 66. And that's going to give you four defense and rebounding badges. So 12 finishing, 20 shooting, 11 playmaking, and four defense and rebounding badges is a total of 47 badges. Body shape doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go with define. Height is going to be 6'6". Now he was 6'7", but at 6'6", your shooting is all around better, as well as your perimeter defense and your ball handling. So that's why we're gonna go with 6'6 over 6'7". And for the weight, you're going to go with 215 pounds, which was Rice's actual weight. And for the wingspan, you're gonna go with 78.9 inches. So at 99 overall, you're gonna have a 94 close shot, an 85 driving layup, a 77 driving dunk, a 60 standing dunk, and a 56 post up. For your shooting stats, you're going to have a 90 mid-range shot, an 88 three-point shot, a 95 free throw, and a 72 post fade. For your playmaking, you're going to have a 64 pass accuracy and an 80 ball handle with a 74 post moves. And for your defense and rebounding, you're going to have a 78 perimeter defense, a 74 lateral quickness, a 77 steal, and a 67 defensive rebound. Your physicals at 99 overall with the gym at badge are going to be 84 for speed, 81 for acceleration, 86 for vertical, and 73 for strength. For the takeover, I would go with the sharp takeover, though you could go with the shot created takeover. Uh, I just think the sharp takeover is just a better uh, takeover all around. And the build is complete and you have built a three level scorer, shades of Glenn Rice, Chris Middleton, and TJ Warren. Now for your badges, for your finishing badges, you're gonna put Acrobat on gold, Contact Finisher on gold, Fancy Footwork on gold, and relentless finisher on gold. For your shooting badges, you're gonna put catch and shoot on gold, corner specialist on gold, difficult shots on silver, dead eye on gold, hot zone hunter on gold, range extender on gold, and steady shooter on gold. For your playmaking badges, you're going to put break starter on gold, downhill on silver, lob city passer on gold, and space creator on gold. And for your defense and rebounding badges, you're gonna put clamps on bronze and pick dodger on gold. 
All right, everyone, this has been the best Glenn Rice build. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell icon, and join the Penny Face Squad. That'd be greatly appreciated. It helps out the channel overall, and you'll also be kept up with everything we do in the channel, so you don't want to miss any of that. Drop a comment below and let me know what you thought of the build. I'm taking requests, so if you have a build that you want to see me make, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll try to make that build for you. I'm making builds every single day for next gen. Uh, I'm not doing current gen so much anymore, but I'll do it for a quest. So if you have a current gen build that you want to see me make, let me know in the comment section below as well. Just say, hey, I want this build for current gen, and I'll try to make that build up for you. Last but not least, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.